positivity is the spark that makes any moment bright. It is the spark that lights the dark, a constant illuminator amidst life's most certain shadows to be casted. As inauspicious or uncertain our paths may be, our mentality should be unwavering, a light with optimistic hope. Just as we know the dawn arrives, know that something beautiful is always awaiting you. Hey there, it's Leon's brain on a spaceship. Uh, Leon is currently crucified by cringe at the moment and unable to speak, so just give him a few minutes and we'll be back shortly after this short intro. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new laundry basket full of packets of tartar sauce. My name is Leon Lush and I'm so grateful that you decided to spend a little while here with me today. You already know what time it is. Okay, you saw the fit just a second ago. You know that I'm wearing that Peter Kane dog training merch. I'm a man of my word like I said I would a few videos ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that might mean you're new here, in which case you should probably subscribe so you can get in on the goddamn inside jokes! Now, those of you that know me know that nothing gets me quite amped up like hashtag couples goals. You know, these couples that live their perfect lives through meticulously planned, highly curated, gorgeous Instagram feeds sprinkled with a heavy dose of positive mindset and inspirational captions. God, I'm getting moist just thinking about it. So here I am thinking I've seen the apex of what it means to be the perfect couple, but there's these couples out here, I guess, that I just stumbled upon that are taking the couple goals formula and sprinkling on a heaping tablespoon of adventurous and a pinch of risky business, creating a whole new strain of content that is guaranteed to send ordinary people like you and I plummeting into a deep, deep depression over how ordinary our lives truly are compared to theirs. So please, Take my hand as we take a look at some of Instagram's most perfect, adventurous, globe-trotting couples on a brand new episode of Insufferable Instagram. Before we jump in, I'd like to call upon Blue Sweatshirt Leon for a quick word about today's sponsor who made this video possible, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is the crown jewel of virtual private networks. It's easy to use, it's fast as f heck, and it gives you a safe internet experience with zero restrictions, allowing you to download and stream content no matter where you are. I use it personally not only to keep my data safe, but to circumvent any of that geo-blocking nonsense going on when I travel. For example, I was just in England uh, about a month ago for five days, and I couldn't watch any US Netflix or any Hulu at all from my hotel room. So I fired up ExpressVPN, connected to a US server, and I was back to watching my shows within seconds. HBO, Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, YouTube, the list goes on and on, and all of these are available to you no matter where you are in the world with ExpressVPN. Oh, by the way, if you're still in school and they're blocking access to your favorite apps and websites, ExpressVPN solves that problem so you can get back to tweeting very important Thanos memes while you're in detention. It's less than seven bucks a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no real good reason not to give it a shot. So take back your internet freedom today and find out how you can get three months free using my link at the top of the description box, expressvpn.com forward slash Leon Lush. Uh. So here we have Kelly and Cody, 141,000 followers, uh, better known on Instagram as Positravelty, which is the cutest shit. I mean, just a harmonious union of the words positivity and travel. In case you still don't get it, this is how they came up with their name. Positivity, travel. Travelocity. Just look at this gorgeous feed. <laughs> are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh my god. I just are you crying yet? Are you depressed yet? Because if you're not both of those things, you're clearly not looking hard enough. Keep looking. Open your damn eyes and look at this feed. All right, now that we've had a second to let that feed sink in, go ahead and take a break. Pop a Lexapro. Just come on back so we can keep plugging through. Make your paradise a state of mind. Actualize your imagination to more than just thoughts and consider them as they truly are possibilities. When you close your eyes and drift, dare to dream in pure bliss of a life that encompasses all that you love. Allow yourself to float above life's wavy surface, far too buoyant with happiness and positivity to be capsized. Feel free because you believe you are. Be in paradise because you choose to be. In the moment we decide to allow ourselves to evolve and adapt, we cease to float. What? I don't know what that means, but I love this picture. I think that's like a pomegranate handoff mid barrel roll into the pool, which is neat. Thank you, Astorville Bali, for a wonderful stay in the pool deluxe for a delicious poolside bre- Oh my god. 
She called breakfast brekkie. I'm finished. I'm done. Ah, there it is. Wouldn't be a real couple goals page without this picture. These pictures are so damn beautiful, it's painful to look at. It's like the sun it just radiates energy and brightness and warmth and keeps our solar system alive. But if you look at it, it burns your corneas out. That's, that's how I feel about these pictures. Are you familiar with the term comfort zone? We ask because we don't believe in it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Pause it, travel tea because I'm living proof that it does exist because I spend about 99.5% of my time there. So you can GTFO with that nonsense. Just because you spend your entire life in a bathing suit, taking Instagram selfies on a rock suspended 4,000 feet above a ravine, doesn't mean I can't enjoy some Friends reruns on Netflix wrapped in an UGG blanket with a sleeve of Thin Mints at my side. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> All right, at this point, so if any of you are new to my content or you're really into this kind of spreading positivity kind of content, let me just remind you, okay, that life's not all blueberries and beefcakes, baby. All right, without thorns, there'd be no roses and I'm a goddamn thorn. But just so you know, I still do enjoy things in life. So let me poop out a quick disclaimer so you know what I'm all about. All right, now that we got that out of the way, check out this dope picture, all right? Not only are these two traveling the world to the most beautiful exotic locations, spending 365 days a year in a bathing suit somehow, they're also willing to risk their lives for the perfect make-out Instagram selfie. And the best part is, this picture is the reason I found out about these guys, because apparently it's so controversial because of how dangerous it is, it was newsworthy enough to make the local news here in Massachusetts where I live. It was on late night, it was on like local television, CBS News, Channel 7 about these Instagrammers that are taking very risky photos to get likes. And uh, apparently they got a ton of hate for it. Like enough hate to warrant it becoming a news story. Stupid idea. Not a good idea to copy this. <laughs> This is a great picture, but it's not worth risking your safety. Even if there was a pool below, something happens. You could be seriously injured. If you not consider your own health and safety, please consider your position as role models and potential inspiration. Shut the f up! We are living in a dying world, folks. Overpopulated, and it's growing exponentially as we speak. Shit, in 35 years, the sun's gonna turn the entire human race into a meat casserole due to climate change. And we got these pussies worried about this couple taking a risky Instagram selfie. They got 41 and a half thousand likes! Of course it was worth it! Sure, it looks precarious and slippery and one false move by either of them or a misplaced finger and this lovely young girl falls, plummets to her death. But this is a win-win because either A, you get a dope-ass Instagram selfie or B, you die trying to frame a dope-ass Instagram selfie, which is fucking hilarious. I'm not even kidding. If I'm doing a tier list right now, we got Jim Carrey, Chris Farley, George Carlin, and then way up here, off camera, we have dying trying to frame a cool Instagram selfie. That is S-tier comedy, man. I'm not kidding. If you don't believe me, just take a look at this article. Instagram travel couple fell to their death while taking a selfie. Go on. Their bodies were found after other visitors reported seeing a camera in a tripod on the ledge of the cliff and a helicopter search discovered the couple 800 feet down the side of Taft Point, a popular lookout spot. Is it tragic? Yes, okay. But is it funny? Also yes, because this is a textbook definition of Darwinism. And natural selection is always kind of funny. All right, Nige, need a good smile for this one. We gotta get as close as we can to the edge for maximum like potential. All right, we got uh, three, two, oh! Oh! Listen, I thought it was a funny bit, but apparently karma didn't agree because I think I just got a contusion on my right ass cheek. This is Camille and Jean, 214,000 followers, basically a control C, control V situation of the couple we were just looking at. They took this photo, which is another one that was featured on that evening news special about controversial photos that were getting hate on the internet, which is hilarious. But look at this, 58,000 likes, which is like five or six X what they normally get. And it's a sick selfie, making out, hanging off a train in Sri Lanka over a 3,000 foot ravine on a wooden train track. Are you kidding me? Total win, all right? And if you, f I'm trying not to swear, but I can't help it. If you messed up and you didn't get the selfie and instead you fell to your death, hilarious, also a win. I was in the train when you took this pic, flame emoji. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you guys think your life is bad? At least you're not out here lying in somebody's Instagram comments to make yourself look cool. Again, just another gorgeous feed to make you feel hopeless, sad, and alone as you sit there in your one-bedroom cockroach-infested apartment with tears welling up in your eyes because you haven't had a Tinder match in over a month. <laughs> Optimism is a happiness magnet. We genuinely believe that having a positive mindset will get you very far in life compared to a critical one. Well, I'm screwed. 
<laughs> no, but seriously, I'm actually a pretty, pretty optimistic person filled with hope. I just use nihilism as a vehicle for comedy sometimes online. And having a positive mindset when something bad happens will make the bad situation go away. All right, that's a little much. Just shut up at this point. This is Raquel and Miguel, also known as Explorosaurus, another account that is essentially a carbon copy of the last two we looked at. Just beautifully curated feed, madly in love, fit, delicious looking couple, and somehow traveling the world without having to hold down a job to support themselves. I don't know how they do it, but they're all doing it. I mean, a couple hundred K on Instagram is nice, but surely you can't support this nomad lifestyle just with that I don't I don't know how they do it oh unless you sell your Lightroom presets look at these preset bundles 36 pound or euro whatever that is 48 72 you know I've been thinking about this a lot recently especially with Lightroom presets because I have bought a pack of presets before for Lightroom which I have used and it's been helpful but what's stopping me from opening up that pack of presets, sliding one little slider a little bit, changing the name of every single preset, and reselling it as my own to my audience. Yeah, this is my warm skin tone pack for $30. This is my tomato tone pack for $30. You can literally just print paper if you have an audience of photography enthusiasts. Just download a new preset pack, hit a couple of sliders up, change the preset names, and sell it as your own. It's the biggest racket I've ever heard of, and I guarantee that 98% of preset packs that are being sold by Instagrammers on the internet were probably made by somebody else and just modified a little bit and packaged as their own. That would be my guess. And I don't know why you and I both aren't doing it right now and buying a yacht. <laughs> Let's be honest, nobody would buy a Lightroom preset pack from Leon Lush, but down the road, if you see me selling one, you know what's up. <laughs> well, these three adventurous, gorgeous, whimsical couples traveling the world somehow with no money limitations, taking some of the best photos I've ever seen and curating the most beautiful Instagram feeds known to man have really made me feel terrible about my life, but I've certainly enjoyed our time here together. Listen, I'm all about traveling outside your comfort zone and going to exotic beaches and blah, 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 but I just don't like the insinuation that that's the only way to enjoy life, right? A lot of us, you know, we have to work the nine to fives or we got obligations or families and can't travel the world like this and curate the most beautiful Instagram feeds. And maybe we like to spend our evenings watching Netflix and playing The Sims. I mean, their life's not perfect, right? We can't rule out the fact that Camille and Jean might link up with Raquel and Miguel to do an epic collab video Video, and Miguel and Camille end up sleeping with each other and cheating on their spouses and then it creates just unbelievable jealousy and tension between the two couples and turns into this messy murder-suicide and who all hell breaks loose, you know what I'm saying? And we're just at home watching Netflix playing The Sims having the time of our life. But we wouldn't know that because of the Instagram feed. They have problems too. Don't forget that shit. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could leave a comment, I love reading through those. If you want some tomato mafia gear, the link's in the description. If you could do me one favor before you go, just cop two train tickets. Grab your grandmother, head out to the train. As soon as the train gets to full speed, find the closest emergency door. You want to hang out of that bitch as far as you can go. Take a sick pic of you making out with your grandmother hanging outside that train. And then you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.